I was in the air, air training corps for two years. That was from 16 to 18. The day I turned 18, I was called up then for interview for Air Force Air Crew. Did all my training in Australia as a wild operator air gunner, and I was sent to England. I was one of the fortunate ones. Uh, you know, uh, history records that of all the air crew blokes that went overseas, only 51% of us came back. Yes, I got home in 1946 and uh, I was discharged from the Air Force two days before I turned 21. <laughs> when I came home, we had to sign on oath when we left the squadron that we would not divulge anything or any of the operations that we went on. So I joined the RSL. I didn't want to tell lies, so I never went to, to the club or anything for oh, three or four or five years. The RSL, it went along oh, pretty well the same thing for years and years, but of recent years has changed a bit. Well, we've got a lady president. <laughs> They're trying to involve us in a lot more stuff than they used to in those gone by. 